welcome back to Rue's Life. Here in the UK we've had some absolutely scorching days. It's actually been glorious, um, although it's too hot in the middle of the day to be doing much. So it's 8 o'clock in the morning, it's 28 degrees in here and 25 degrees outside and I really want to get my onions harvested while we're having a dry spell. So that's what I'm going to get up to today. Absolutely thrilled with this harvest. I normally put my onions in in the autumn and overwinter them but this year I didn't put them in until spring and I couldn't buy the variety that I would normally buy. So in the end I just bought a bag that was just a selection of red, yellow and white onion but it didn't say what varieties they were and when I was actually planting them they didn't look like the best specimens if I'm honest and I didn't have particularly high hopes. But I couldn't have been more wrong. They're absolutely great. I'm really pleased with them. So we've got the onions here in the trugs and on the left there are the banana shallots, which my sister gave to me. So let's have a closer look. So these are the banana shallots and they look absolutely great. And then as I say here, we've got this selection and some of them are absolute whoppers. So we've got these white ones. We've got the yellow ones and some red. So this year was a particularly peculiar growing year and if you look at these onions they're, they're really nice bulbs and they're going to be nice onions but can you see how the tops you can hear they're still quite fleshy and crunchy and that's because they'd actually been trying to bolt. So these aren't going to be particularly good for um, storing as they are. So normally, you know, the tops would be flatter. They would start to flop over a bit like daffodils at the end of the season. They'd start to go yellow and that's quite an indicator that they're ready to harvest. When they stay fleshy like this, you can see this is actually the part that would have been a flower on or a scape, which would have turned into a flower on the end of that. There may be one with a scape on, I seem to remember. See if I can find it. So here you can see it's actually starting to flower now but this is the scape that pops up out the top and before they start to flower you can actually eat them which is what I've been doing. So we've been taking the scapes off and chopping them into meals. Um, so that that's just the scape and obviously it would have come to flower. So because of that, as I say, these will not store particularly well as they are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cure them here in the polytunnel and then once they're cured, I'm actually going to um, chop them and freeze them. If you've got the freezer space, it's a really good way of guaranteeing that you've got your onions for using. And you don't have that disappointment of going to pick one of the onions from your plat. And actually when you touch it, it's turned to mush.
So here they are. I'm really, really pleased. It's not as large a harvest as I've had in previous years, but all things considered, I'm really pleased. And there's an amazing onion aroma coming from them, which is absolute heaven. It's starting to really hot up here in the polytunnel now. It's creeping up to 30 degrees. So I'm going to have a drink of water before I crack on with any more gardening, but I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing and hit that bell so you'll get notifications of all my latest videos. I hope you're well. I hope you're enjoying your gardens. I hope you're getting some of this amazing sunshine. Keep hydrated, keep gardening, take care, and I'll see you all again soon.